What's happening guys, it's B-Rad and yes, I am coming to you from somewhere a little bit different than behind the desk doing some FIFA content. Today we are back out on the golf course. Now this is pretty big for me, I'm a fair weather golfer if you don't know what that means. It means that basically during the winter months where there's rain and wind etc, I don't get out onto the golf course. I tend to stay away, I don't want to get wet, don't want to get blown away, I like to enjoy my golf. Leisurely and today as you can see outside sort of it's very very sunny very lovely indeed got my factor 30 on we're ready to go just easing it in today we're just doing a six hole academy at my home golf course royal norwich um it's a lovely golf course recently revamped uh, in the last couple of years and um yeah looking forward to just playing the six holes seeing what it's like getting back out there my handicap is 16.7 now that means that i get 17 shots over 18 holes which means that for six holes, I'll probably get five shots. So we'll see whether I'm more than five over after these six holes. And you'll see some documented of some shots or where I've hit my ball to. Unfortunately, I'm not privileged enough to have a cameraman. So I will be doing the work myself to show you some of the shots, some of the places on the green, maybe some of my putts. If I can get my partners to take some footage for me, then I will. Um, but what we're going to do now is head out to the driving range, just hit some balls for a bit of a warm up. Then we're out on the golf course. We'll join you there. All right, so here we are on the range, getting in some practice just before the six holes. My brother and my dad there. Um, like I say, I'm filming myself, so I can't do that while I'm swinging the golf club. But yeah, hit a couple of balls so far, not looking too badly. And uh, looking forward to getting out there. Right, so here we are on the six hole academy course. This is a par four, 290 yards, dog leg down to the right. So I'm taking a five iron just to get it halfway down the fairway. Hopefully it'll leave a wedge in. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we hit a five iron down the fairway and my ball is just here. There it is. And I've got about 70 yards into the green. So I'm gonna take the sand iron, just try and put it on there. You'll see my dad has already hit onto the green and it's pretty close if we can get a zoom in on that. Nice and close to the hole there. So yeah, hopefully go join him. Let's see how we go. So just through the back of the green, hit a three quarter sand iron, um, it's just, not checked and gone through the back of the green. So you see what we've got there. We've got a chip and run. Gonna send it down here with a little nine iron chip and hopefully get near to the hole. Yeah, and so I played a lovely chip there. Um, basically is in just close to the flag. I don't know if you can see there. So just got a little tap in for a par. Not a bad way to start. Right, so par three now. Just had a par on the first and there's my brother walking there. He's just Absolutely stiffed one through about 10 feet uh, on the par three. So 144 yards, I'm taking a nine iron. Hopefully we can get close. So I've just come through the back of the green and slightly left as you can see the green just there. Um, if you can see my brother's ball there, about eight to 10 foot from the hole. So I'm looking to just up and down it, maybe in two putts, get a bogey, be one over after two. Well, okay, so I unfortunately walked away with a double bogey in the end as I put my first chip through the green. Um, this is a par four, 319 yards. Jamie there, just got a birdie on that par three from that eight foot putt, so he's doing well. Hopefully we can get one here. Okay, so not a great drive there, but I got a bit lucky. Um, there's the tee, there's the tree I hit, and it's on the fairway, so we're happy. Um, 146 into the pin uphill so i'm going to take uh, an extra club and hit an eight iron hopefully we can get it on the green not such a good shot put it left into the rough so we're now going to hopefully find it i'm taking some energy food to try and boost my round okay this is where we are quite buried in here bit of grass pins there just gotta try and dig it out and not a lot of green to work with so yeah hopefully we can get it close try and limit the damage All right, so on that one, uh, up and down that chip from the back there that you saw the picture of. So uh, bogey there as well. So I'm now three over after three, uh, after a par on the first and then a double bogey on the par three. So I need a par in the last three holes to kind of play to my handicap. Now I've got a shortish par four, you'll see there down there, T I'm now walking up to, it's 269 yards. So I'm gonna take a four iron off a T just to leave me a flick in with a wedge, hopefully. But hopefully it should keep it in play, it's a little bit more accurate. So yeah, send the four iron down there. Hopefully you'll see me from that point and we'll have a nice 70 yards into the green or so. 
Okay, so here we are just off the left of the fairway. Fairway is just there. Green's just down there, it's 96 yards in, so just about 100 yards in, which is perfect full kind of sand iron for me. Lies sitting up, so hopefully we can get it close. So I've landed it on the green, it's just literally trickled through the back, so I actually landed through, rolled through unfortunately. So there we are from the pin, we're going to take a putter here, it's quite a big break left to right from here, but hey, hopefully we can get a par if we two putt it. Disappointing there, three putt from the back of that green there, hit the first one really badly. Said it was left to right, didn't hit it there, and unfortunately two putted uh, after that. So now onto a par three, uh, I think it's around about 160 yards. And then onto another par three after that, which is about 210 yards. So that's quite a long one. Um, so we need to get a par here. Really need to put one of these on the green from the tee to give us a chance at least to play to our handicap. It would be five over after six, which over 18 holes would be 15. So that would technically be two under my handicap, but we'll say five over over six is playing to my handicap. And hopefully we can get this one on the green. And once again, we have found the rough. I can't seem to get the irons going. Uh, we're right of the green. So this is the right hand side of the green. Uh, blocked it right um, yeah looking to get a sand iron on at least up and down it to try and get the par here because the long par three is tougher so hopefully we can get this close all right so two part of that may have got a four so it's another bogey means coming down the last on the six got to get a par in order to basically over 18 holes, play two under my handicap. Whereas if I get a bogey here, I'm playing one over my handicap. It's just because obviously you can't really get 17 from playing six holes three times. Um, it doesn't even out. So yeah, this is about a 210 yard par three. Now the problem with this is my four iron, which is my lowest iron in my bag, goes about 200 yards. And after that, I have a three wood, which goes about 230 yards. It is slightly in a breeze. So I might go for it, and if I do, this could be disastrous. Right, so this is what we're left with on the final hole. This putt to be one under or two over if I put it in two. So yeah, it's not great. We'll see how we get on. So the round is done, six holes finished and completed, and I did two putt on the last, so unfortunately, Technically works out to, uh, to play in one over or yeah, two over my handicap if we went over there, but technically one over my handicap. So not terrible really, because after like, all that time off, I think it's pretty, um, you know, pretty good considering it's a muscle memory game. So you kind of need to keep up with it. So um, hopefully now we can get back into the game and be getting in better and better and improving and maybe even cut my handicap down. But in two weeks time I'm actually in a foursomes competition with my dad so that's where we play an alternate ball in a competition uh, and we're looking to win so hopefully if I can get another round in or something before now and then that would be handy and uh, hopefully we'll come out with the dub at the tournament I will probably do a little video that day it will probably just be though for the playing and then the final result at the end maybe just a little blog so we won't be able to record anything during the round you're not have phones on the course or anything when it's competition so um yeah hopefully hopefully we can get a win there and uh, if you like this content then please do drop a like for the video comment down below if you do want to see some more golf content i know a lot of fifa youtubers and things are getting that way and kind now and yeah i thought well i've played golf since i was about five or six so um yeah i want to obviously put a little bit of content on there because i can't always keep up with the fifa content so hopefully we've got a little bit of something for you hopefully you've enjoyed it and as always i've been b -Rad.